Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are talking about something which it's that time of year again. What time of year may you ask? Is it Christmas? Is it Vlogmas? Because that is creeping up on us. Not entirely, no. It is the time of year to discuss the Ingham's educational standard. Kind of. In fact, this is a message to Chris and Sarah because I'm not sure if they've they've gathered or they even know or they even care. But it is time for Isabel's GCSE registration okay now they they've made it known that Isabel is doing GCSEs or IGCSEs in January they haven't mentioned whether or not they are resets or they are just extra ones that she's taken because she did so amazingly well on the last ones who knows we don't know they've purposely not told us because you know they know that we like to go on about it and and study them and everything else just basically what i'm doing here that's what they know that we like to do this so we, we're gonna and there's a reason why we do this it's not just to be annoying it's not to just get at you sarah it's not honestly it is so we can hold you accountable you know you know i hope you know anyway as well as we do that your eldest should be in full-time education right now is she who knows you don't show to your credit you're not showing her as much as you used to do but I think that's mainly because she's no longer say, saleable, saleable. She's no longer the, the the pimping out sort. You you know she's not really that sort of target. You know the target market isn't for Isabel. It, you you're mainly pimping out your two young, youngest at the moment. But um, that's not to say that Isabel is doing schoolwork during those periods because we've seen her out and about during school times and stuff like that. So, Izzy, I hope you didn't just burp. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I hope you didn't just do a burp. You get everyone mad, won't I? <laughs> Even like laying down, like you don't really feel the pebbles been, like underneath you. But when you sat on the beach and you want to lay down, you want to just get sand in your hair and it's like. Yeah. I didn't. I thought I would hate it. I was like Pebble Beach. Oh, is it not sand? But I'm yeah. completely transformed. It's way better than sand. Transformed. It, I'm transformed. Converted. It's way better than sand. You don't get sandy feet. You don't leave. You don't get sand up the crack of your butt, in between um, your boobs, all right, all right. under your Too boobs, fast. behind your ears. Although with Pebble Beach, is I'm just saying there's a small chance that she could be doing some education, but. She should actually be doing full-time education, just so as you know, in case you think that this sort of thing is acceptable. You know, it's not really. Apart from full-time education, she has the choice of doing, like, an apprenticeship. But all this has to be full-time. It's not... You can't do bits here and bits there. And we haven't seen her go out Again, we haven't seen her not go out, so maybe she's going out every day to do an apprenticeship. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she could be. She could be doing that. I'm I'm just admitting, Chris, that there is a possibility that what we don't see on camera is that Isabel is a socialite and a hard worker off screen somewhere. That could be a thing. So, where were we? education IGCSEs I'm assuming it's IGCSEs because that's what she took the last time and I would assume that's the same thing this time 
so you had to have your registration well you should really already have it in registration ended for IGS GCSEs for January on the 16th of October so like a month ago and you can still register if you haven't yet already okay but it's it will incur a late fee so up until the 10th of November well that's already gone but if you still registered her up till the 10th of November it incurred a late fee however you can still register it there's still time to register Chris if it hasn't happened already there is still time to register and that is up until the 3rd of January and that incurs a late late fee so basically a, a very late fee a, a very high fee for being late so there are options this is why i'm bringing it to you now chris because she still has time you still have time if you don't register her and by 3rd of january you don't have time i i'm all for giving you the opportunity to know this information but i there's no reason why you shouldn't already know it you should know this because if she's taken GCSEs in January you'll have looked this up about how to register and when to register now as for your courses well the exams rather the exams start here on the 3rd so on the 9th of January and they run all the way through until the 20th of January. So it's only an 11 day window. It's two full weeks of exams that she can possibly be sitting. So for that period of time, she will be taking her exams. Now, we don't know which exams she's taking because they've conveniently not told us this information. You know, again, we know why, because they don't want us to to speculate and they don't want to be caught out when they're, when they're lying and stuff like that right but we can narrow it down now we don't know if they're resets or extra exams this is the thing because we knew that she did her english her maths her science history and what was the other one she did? She did another one. She did five, apparently. So, is it none of those? Because that just doesn't leave many options. I'm seeing Arabic in there. And uh, there's not many other. There's English as a second language, which could be an interesting one. Uh, but I don't think entirely appropriate now she, we, the one that we can rule out for absolute definite is the fact that she can't be doing English because we know for certain that she did take that she got her fantastic grade 9 right so there's not a possibility of her doing that so yeah the 9th of January right through to the 20th those are the dates that she'll be taking her exams and they have until 3rd of January to get the registration sorted if it hasn't already and if they are waiting now then it will cost them a fortune but it's worth it. It's your daughter's education after all, isn't it, Chris? So just on the point of of statutory education, statutory mandatory education that she should be doing, full-time education or 
or something else similar, you know, to further her career, right? But we know that for at least the first month of of the term this year, that she was swanning off around Europe, and I'm thinking that that's probably not in the the spirit of the the laws. So we're all gonna. Listen. No, 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 no. This is not. No, this is not singular to this trip. Every time, every time, me and Dad try and have a conversation. Okay, well, it's never A and B. Right. It's all right. You will remember this, right? So we're in Portugal, and I don't really like the sea. I like the sea because I can see everything. But when I'm in the sea, I can't see. Like it's quite dark. I, I, I don't like it. So we're on the subboard. We're on the subboard. We're on the subboard going out. I said, Where's May? Where's May? Don't push me in. I've been dead serious. I don't want to get in. And so she was, you know, teasing me the whole time. I didn't think she'd actually do it. She pushed me in the dark sea. I've never panicked so much in my life. But today, I'm going to drag you. I know you could say that, yeah, she could have been. Um, she could have been in the back of that van studying hard but again we saw her many times just out and about during the daytime when she should have been studying secondly where exactly within the confines of that little van would she had possibly have been studying not forgetting that the other two would have been studying at the same time all using a laptop and um I did that video quite recently on on the fact that they only have one laptop between them all. And some people pointed out that oh that they might have had others or they they think that they may have one more, but even if that was true, you're looking at three laptops minimum for them to do full-time education plus one for Chris for his editing and so that's four and then yeah no I'm, I'm, I'm saying no then you've got to find a space in that van for them to do all study at the same time all be on the internet at the same time uh, although that is possible, obviously, um, that's a stupid thing, right, so, yeah, I would say, Chris, pull your finger out, get your daughter registered for, for her exams, and I hope she's, she does well, and I, I, I wish her every luck in the world, and with you two as parents, she's going to need it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, please remember to give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.